three, two, one, go. Welcome to Grounds After Rounds. Okay, don't spoil it because let's do our intro. I know. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on okay. one second. Just, go, just cover your ears and just go la 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 la. <laughs> Isn't that a good album? I was. <laughs> that was really good. I should probably put that on. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> and we just lost it. all of our listeners. <laughs> Except for Fiona. <laughs> I, didn't know they did. I didn't know he knew Elmo. <laughs> uh. Elmo's world. Oh, actually. <laughs> what is happening? What the hell's up with this door? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Five, four, three, two, oh, one. Dang it. Welcome. New Year's resolution. Get that right. No, we won't. Grounds after rounds. We're down here on the creek. It's almost Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, it's ladies Christmas and gentlemen. Eve. Oh, man. All right, if you were Santa Claus and you came down the chimney mm -hmm. and you saw a plate of cookies mm -hmm. and some milk mm -hmm. and didn't worry about if it would flare up your knees and hips mm -hmm. or if it would make you bloaty or gassy, no, you them. just see them. What is the cookie that you would see, A, that you were like, yes, best house ever, leaving extra presents. Also, B, cookie you see like, cool. <laughs> Or maybe like a, I'll take a bite. Just yeah, let them know I was here and then yeah, leave. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, number one and number so. So I am. I love a good chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. I mean, I just I don't think there's anything better. Mm -hmm. Jones clearly are yeah, probably some of the best. I will say there's this woman that works at Nicole's school or a mom or something. I forget what her name was. Um, made chocolate chip cookies. Sorry, Joan. They rival Joan's chocolate chip cookies. You put someone else's cookies in your mouth? I, <laughs> that just got <laughs> weird. <laughs> but it, they, they're amazing. I mean, they were like, and they're totally different. They're smaller yeah. and kind of a little bit denser. Yeah. Where Joan's have that like real thin. Yeah. So it's kind of like the difference between like Chicago deep dish pizza, yeah. which is absolutely amazing. And New York style pizza. I consider yeah. Jones kind of like the East Coast New York style pizza of chocolate chip cookies, which, hey, you know, I, I'm going to eat that pizza every single time. Right. Or a Chicago deep dish, like the Sicilian, you know, square cut pizza. I, I'm going to eat that pizza every yeah. time. And I can't say which one is better or worse. In the end, I, I like them both. Yeah, I lump them all into the category. And you're of allowed like, to. Thanks, Because they're cookies. Thank you. Okay. Good. We're still talking and, about cookies, right? Yeah, yes. And pizza. <laughs> and pizza. And the, and the chances of the two coming together. Well, um, they're all in the same category of a, a well-made, warm chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. I, I just am not sure. That would be yeah. like my number one. Yeah. And even if they're bad, that's not, they're it's not that good. bad. Yeah. There's like other cookies that Nicole's family has made in the past and that I had never had before. Um, Cause my, my dad's side of the family, my mom's side of the family, when we were growing up, you know, you go to the, those holidays were always so yeah. like crazy and hectic. And the food was very, is much more Italian centric. So it was always like cheesy and lasagna and maybe there's a roast or something, but I don't remember the sweets ever being that good. And then mm -hmm. on my dad's side, primarily like Italian or uh, Irish and English, <laughs> not very good at desserts those yeah. those traditions those uh whatever uh more potatoes dad really or, yeah <laughs> well they were like those horrible like soda cookies you know, like um they're like hard on, they're kind of hard and they're all white and like <sighs> sugar powder on the outside when you but when you bite into it they're like not the kinda, not the crumbly like the tea cakes yeah like tea cake cookies kind of oh you don't like those Maybe they're not. like they're like they're like little because they're also meg's mom calls them snowballs yeah, my mom calls them Russian tea cakes. Yeah, I think but those they're are really it. like light and crumbly. Yeah, suck. 
Oh my those. gosh. <laughs> if you get those, can I have them? Like, yeah, can you bring you them? Can totally have those okay. from me. Yeah. Take them. Yeah. So, um, but then again, maybe, maybe my memory of them, they were made probably by one of my aunts who like tried to make them all like 1980s healthy. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Back then, they, you know, someone's like, hey, I brought you gluten free cookies. Oh, thanks. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric just threw them in the trash can. Our made up gluten free cookies just went in the trash can. Thanks for bringing it. going to make a cookie. Just make it a real cookie. I know, cookie, right? Just, just make it a real cookie. It's okay. Uh, so, um, so, so that's yes. yours. So, your, so, so your aunts. Right. So, growing up, the holiday cookie spread mm. always sucked. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, there was just never anything. Eh. Yeah. Go to Nicole's house for the first time. Nicole's right. side of the family for the first time for Christmas. I feel like and it's I'm, a money cookie house. I'm right like, there. I get the vibes. Oh my God, you've got yeah. butter horns and snickerdoodles and those like peanut butter blossoms with the Hershey kissing thing. So and, happy right now. and like, and the chocolate chip cookies were amazing. And then my favorites are these little pecan cups. So it's like mm. these little mini pecan pies. Oh yeah. At like, oh. That's the pie. There's like mint chocolate ones that they were always needing to be separated. My mouth because just like dude became and it's this like and it's this spread on this tray. And and then they would always go, and her mom would always be like, It's okay. I, I put some aside for us. Today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You go downstairs and there's like three times as many. That's awesome. I, I mean, I was sort of like the kid from uh Happy Gil, no, um, Billy Madison, who ate all the lunches. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> they find me in the basement. It's just like a half empty bottle of Jack Daniels and all the cookies are just like, slid out. I haven't even, I've only eaten like half of most of them. Donald like, ducking it. You just got your shirt on, but your pants are off. <laughs> I just like I just like cookie crumbs all over three quarter eaten ones like kind of like it's stuck in my pocket because I couldn't quite get it back in. Jack's leaning into it. I love Christmas. <laughs> Jack, it's Labor Day. Get it together. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, so I come back to you. I would say a chocolate chip. So, Maybe so one of those tea cake ones yeah. would be with the other with the, the other one. That's yeah, what yeah, I, that's yeah. what I get the vibe. Because <clears throat> I actually, some people always be like oatmeal raisin. What a dumb cookie. I like oatmeal raisin so, cookies. It's funny because mine, I would say oatmeal raisin, but there's a, but the, it's so much more nuanced than that because it's like, I've had good oatmeal raisin cookies. Yeah. I feel like it has to be like a home-baked, fresh oatmeal raisin <laughs> cookie. Um, Cause funny story. I took Fee to the grocery store the other day and she's becoming such an awesome helper at the store. Um, Cause we go in the expectation. Did you read my blog? I this read it, yeah. blog. No. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I uh, set the expectation, like, look, like, I know you're going to want to pick, like, one thing. So mm -hmm. you can pick one snack. All right. That's your pick. And then the rest, I need your help. And so we set that kind of. Oh, I like still that. reach for yeah, others. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, you got to pick one thing. This will be your snack. It'll be, like, snack for her lunches or something like that. Yeah. So not like a not like a treat for helping me shop. It's a, yeah. a thing that we need. For the week. So you get to pick yeah. it, right? And so um, but there was a, uh, but back there by the bakery, they have this kind of giant. Giant, giant back by the by the That's wall of milk. That's my favorite part of the store. Yeah, right. I kind of just slow down. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. no, I don't really need anything. I mean, but those colorful cookies right there might be good in my bottom of my cart. Interesting. <laughs> but back there by the uh, by the milk, there's this table that I think is like old bakery stuff. It's like it's still good. Yeah, but it's yeah, 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 yeah. This is kind of random, like off the corner table. Yeah, and a couple of the things of their cookies were sitting on the floor sometimes i get underneath the table and i'll grab something and i'll throw it down with me and it's like oh isn't that interesting <laughs> i just tie it under there and i just eat and the guy comes around and he's like sir you cannot eat in the store please get out from underneath the table <laughs> put your pants back on what is this jack and pants <laughs> are you drinking eating? are you drinking in the store Gosh. it's christmas leave me alone worst sir <laughs> it is june 13th worst flag day ever <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry I derailed your story <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> so with me and she said something she said something about like the way she said it was almost like she was like using her imagination she's like something about a floor cookie something about floor cookies or something. okay let's go like, oh, that sounds great Fee. get a floor cookie <laughs> and then I realized look around she saw on the floor like where one of the trays like they just didn't have a space on the table so they yeah. put underneath the table yeah and and so she, she was being them. very literal yeah and i was like ah, crap i was like see we're not gonna get those babe i was like plus they're like they're the cookies that like they're not even that good right yeah and um 
And so she's like, no, 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 I'm going to get him. I'm going to take him. And then she started to pull the lid off. Oh, geez. And she was like, no, 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 feet. We got to put the lid on. I'm like, I'm going to put that back. We're not getting those. And it's like, I'm trying to take it from her. Yeah. Like the tray breaks and the cookies fall. And I'm like, uh, I was like all right, now we have to buy them. Those cookies. I put the lid on, put I was like, well, at least they're chocolate chip. Right. Yeah. And, um, but I was still kind of mad because I'm like, they're not even good chocolate chip cookies, but whatever. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, I felt bad because like they probably were going to throw those cookies away anyway, but we broke it. We're going to buy it. Yeah. It's a couple bucks. So I get home and I was telling Meg and she's like, why didn't you just leave them or give them to the baker and say like, this is what happened. Like it's their fault for putting them in reach of it. I was like, yeah, I know, I know, but you know. And so anyway, I go to get one of the cookies and I was like, no, it was mislabeled. They were oatmeal. They were like old oatmeal raisin cookies. I was furious. Did you come and go? Did you come in and then leave and then come back? Okay. Have you been back there? Have you been hiding in one of the lockers? I swear we time? heard someone come in <laughs> and then we were like, it smells like Sophia. I think our ghost. And I then think we no got one, And then no one was back there. No one just got yeah. here. Yeah. All right. That's scary. That is a little scary. <laughs> or your soul got here first. Yeah. And now your body is catching up. Here. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Anyway, so that's my story. <laughs> She's done with us. Yeah. So it's moved on. <laughs> and being like this, they were just, just, I was so like, oh, this just went from like bad to worse. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and they weren't even good. I ate them all, but like, <laughs> like I still ate them, cause like, well done, respectable. Got to three, got to see it through, my boy. Yeah, got yeah, to yeah, see yeah. it through. Yeah, you made so. that bed. You're gonna sleep in it. Yeah, you should made Fiona eat them with you. Yeah, yeah, I know you're sick. No, I almost you keep I, eating that damn cookie. I said, because Fiona asked her she had a cookie. I was like, I almost don't want to give her one because am I like rewarding that? I was like, you know what? She, but she, but she won't. She's not gonna put she two. Hasn't like, that. She's not connected. She's not connected. I know. I know. So I mean, like, she is probably smarter than both of us. Yeah, but. Her memory quite hasn't yeah formed up there yet. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, you know what she called oranges today? What? Um, Naranjas? She called them pickled limes. Wow. I don't know where like she called them pickled lime. That's really. And she kept saying she wanted to give Everett a pickled lime, and he was like eating on it. I was like, huh. what is that? Where did that come from? Interesting. But, but yeah. That's like really funny. But like, yeah. Pickled, would you like a pickled lime? It's... I was like, all right. I wonder if like, I wonder what a pickled lime would taste like. I don't know. That's really cool. So Gosh, if you want to pickle cool. some limes, or if you ever had an experience, please let us leave us a review. They, and let us yeah. know if they taste like oranges. Also that, yeah. yeah. So anyway. So what, would, what so, would be your cookie, though, when you came down? You'd just be like, get out of my way, Rudolph! I'm 100% <laughs> with you. Like a, a, a warm, like a warm, fresh chocolate chip cookie. Okay. I might get it. Like a home bake. Yeah. And I think I like, I like, um, I like, uh, I like when it's a little more like crumbly. So I didn't go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I say I like when they're a little more crumbly. Um, but yeah, just a good like warm chocolate chip cookie. So I made um, just the standard Nestle chocolate yeah. chip bag recipe. You know, nothing special. Um, really made sure not to the, melt the, the butter. The Nestle Tolauza. Nestle Tolauza. Um, and uh, but what I did was I under baked them just mm. a little bit. And then I froze them. You were a golden god. I froze them in plastic bags in the freezer That's, in twos. Yeah. And so, so I mean, probably what, like 32 or I don't remember what the thing makes. So we all had like three or four. And there was enough for Nicole and I to each have two for three more. There was like 12 left, okay. right? Two of us, six. Yeah. Um, or maybe eight left. Yeah. So I put them in plastic bags and put them in the freezer. And not even, I didn't even think about it. This was totally a, a happy accident. The next night, we're like, oh, I'll tell you, I'm the chocolate chip cookie. Um, pull them out and like go to bite into it. And it was like cookie. Dough. It was like frozen cookie dough, mm. but like kind of crunchy on the outside. So like crunchy, pseudo So how far did you undercook them? Like, like if it cooked so for 12 it says minutes. Like 12 two. minutes, it was like 10. Okay. So they came out and you got, had to be real careful, like scooping them off. And you would eat it right out of the freezer. Like once out of the freezer, yep, yep, you'd eat yep. it. Because you know, normally you freeze a cookie. So this yeah. is where Jones cookies are still phenomenal yeah. the second time around because you freeze them. They're so thin yeah. and they're so soft yeah. that you can eat them straight up frozen. Yeah. That's why I like, I think I've, I've, I've had frozen hers before and I definitely like them more when I take them right out of the freezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unless I had them like straight from sure. the oven, like warm yeah. money, but I mean, who like am I they've kidding? Been sitting, they, yeah. they could be, I could like pull it out of the muck here in the water and I'm going to be like, what's I'm thinking? I remember there were like two still left. good. When John was leaving the other night, there were two <laughs> left and I took them. I set them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Who took them? I don't Did know. you figure it out? But like, if they're on the ground out there, I'll find them and I'll still eat them. That's just, I mean, yeah. I, cause so I whoever, saw you pull them out. Whoever took them, whoever took them, it was not a, it was a, they saw them sitting there. Oh, and they tried just like, 
they ate them or they took whatever they did. It was not, they didn't, no one right, stole right, my right, cookies. Right. No one stole my cookies. So anyway, so, easy. so that was it. So yeah. Oh, wait, you can still hear me. Oh, look at you. Perfect <laughs> crime. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad that someone stole your <laughs> cookies. I did not. I was so full. <laughs> Man, uh, great all right, so yeah, so standard cool. chocolate chip cookie. We're easy to please, yeah, man. Easy to please. Um, Do you ever put a little salt on top? No, but I think that is the. One I almost thought to myself was like with your cake. I was like, I was almost like, oh, I bet if I put a little salt on so top. So that's what that because uh, it was so, already like really sweet, and yeah, I know the, salt enhances, but it would add a little like ooh. salted caramel. Yeah, I'd probably use salted caramel next time. Oh, and I would candy those pretzels. And I wouldn't make them peanut butter pretzels. Just regular. So probably what I would do would be the salted caramel, peanut butter sauce in the center, and then just candied pretzels and candied pecans. Oh my God. Should we put a um <laughs> I think the a title, drool bin under the, you? The yes. title of this podcast should be ground episode episode Rounds after on. rounds, episode something. Yes. Uh, you will gain five pounds listening <laughs> yeah. to this episode. <laughs> Guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed bulk episode. Five pounds. Five pounds my God. Gained. Okay. Uh, oh my God. All right. Okay. So speaking of the holidays <sighs> and givings things to yourself and giving things to others. Yes. Eric, what what is the perfect gift for the CrossFitter in your life? Man, you know what? So me, um, well, Megan, Megan's a CrossFitter. She is. She's, She's a, a hell a of a CrossFitter. She crushed yeah. it. It's actually Monday today, folks. It's yeah, not it is really Monday. Christmas Eve, but it's Christmas Eve for you because you're listening to this on Christmas Eve. It's true. But Eric's better half so, came to my I said the CrossFitter today. in my life was like, wait a second, there's a lot of CrossFitters in my <laughs> life. But the most important. Yeah, one. I'm just thinking the ones I feel up. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes it Megan and then Joe. And then <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe just as he's listening he's like motherfucker's gonna forget me <laughs> motherfucker isn't even gonna mention me is that... I got a, people send just... me a few pictures of Joe like nuzzling me like you guys are hilarious <laughs> if so he funny. makes you look tiny he does. <laughs> uh, man that was fun uh, speaking of tall dudes I saw Alex Creek in the grocery store the other day oh, he yes. says hi and he helps everyone as well ah, and, nice. and uh, he's doing great his back is obviously you know it's just Wait, says Achilles heel. Oh, Big tall yeah, creek. Yeah, yeah, creek. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, what yeah. makes me when I think of it? One, I was thinking was, of Toby too. Oh yeah, Toby. Uh, yeah, I swear there was there was one class I had Kriegs, Joe, um, Kriegs, Joe. It may have been it may have been it was either Toby or Alex, but there was like three. Oh no, it was, I don't remember. There was yeah, like good, three dudes. Tall like dude six foot four, right? Yeah. Like so, it was one of it was one it was one night at five fifteen. It was like three six foot four plus dudes, and I just remember looking at the class and be like two of you have to go because I can't have this many people taller than me in a single class. This he, cannot be. You went, oh, this is what Jack feels like. <laughs> That's all. I think time. someone said that to me too. They're like, now you know how Jack feels. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. That's perfect... even when it's just women in the glass. Right? I feel like, oh, man, you guys are tall. <laughs> Those teenagers are getting tall. <laughs> they are. Oh, gosh. It's okay. Um, the boys are all taller than me. I don't know where that came from. Nicole and I were both in the kitchen the other day and all three of them and both of us are looking up at all three of them oh and i was like okay this is okay i'm okay with this i'm okay i'm okay with this but i am because they got like they got all the best genes of us it, they totally do like i yeah. used to sit there and look and be like okay the twins remind me more of jack and then andrew a little bit more of nicole and then like now that, that i think it's i've gotten to know them more too it's like they are like just the perfect mix of you yeah, both. Yeah, and they're like, all so unique in their own way. Totally. Which yeah. even last night, so they're my gratitude. I'll jump to my gratitude. Um, Matt, just for being awesome and playing hockey, but the my dad swung down. Uh, my parents were both going to come down to watch Matt's game last night, mm -hmm. but mom wasn't feeling well. So dad just came down and uh, and it was awesome. Didn't expect, yeah. we're sitting in the parking lot. Matt goes in, saying, Nicole goes, is that, is that your dad? That's awesome. <laughs> and I look over, I'm like, yeah, I guess he still came. And we're like, yeah, communication, not our parents' strong suit. Yeah. So I walk over, I get in his car. I'm like, hey, you still came. He's like, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, bah, 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 bah. So it was awesome. We go to dinner afterwards, which was great. Nicole texts Josh and Andrew and says, hey, pop-ups in town, uh, surprises at Matt's game. We're going to this place. Can you guys make it? Both of them within like 30 seconds, text back. Definitely want to see pop-up. We'll be there. Cool. That's like- 
awesome. Like yeah. that is the testament, A, to my father of yeah. establishing a relationship with his grandkids across all of them. Like yeah. he does amazing things with all of them, but like all in just a gigantic category of like, they freaking dig him. Yeah. And he's an amazing grandfather. I love when you were talking, when, um, was, uh, was it Matt or Josh that was trying to do golf? Both. And they, were they both? Yeah. yeah. And he and, like, basically he was... gave us like $1,000 worth of private so lessons. Awesome. Cause he's yeah. an amazing well, yeah. golfer and a great coach. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, it was awesome. So that when they, all three of them being there for dinner and just chatting with them and talking and catching up and they were a ton of fun. And then we raced, Andrew and I raced home and I beat him. Uh, ah, sucker. Cause he took me on 32 and three or 32 to 97. And was I Nicole just, with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was just me, Nicole and Matt and then Josh and uh, Andrew in the other car. I let him, I gave him and let him go and let him go and let him go. And then he made the rookie mistake at the Chinkapin Spa or Chinkapin 665. Mm -hmm. You know, he's in the left lane. I'm in the right lane. He stayed in the left lane and you got to play that. You got to gamble that and go in the right lane because it's not until like halfway down forest where people start to make the right. right When you start to get past Safeway. But you got to be in that right lane to get the jump Mm -hmm. on the light after the safe way yes because if that one turns red you're done you're done and it does and so it turned red it turned yellow as i'm going through the intersection and he's too far back and he got caught at that light and so then i i cut over made the pass through the gauntlet and cut back over now i will say i almost lost it because i hit two unexpected reds Mm -hmm. so he almost caught up but by that point i was far enough ahead and he was you know he couldn't he couldn't get into position and so i took him there you go (laughs) That was our Sunday night. I'm super grateful for those boys and their relationship with my dad. It was yeah. awesome to see them. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good. I'm glad. Uh, um, so anyway, the, the CrossFitting World. CrossFitting World, perfect gift. That's where we're going. So I think anyone that knows me is probably shoes. <clears throat> you give me the perfect CrossFit gift. It's probably um, a shoe yes. of some sort. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Um, with, interestingly enough, made its way into C cnet.com's best gifts are people who are obsessed with crossfit i'm not obsessed with crossfit i'm not obsessed with crossfit. i'm the crossfit 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 i mean i just malkovich 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 <laughs> so yeah i think i mean i definitely think i'd say we are obsessed with crossfit i think uh this is why i also think um the people who wrote this article i don't know if they necessarily do crossfit yeah um because i don't think a person that does crossfit would say that um because some but, of the gifts or some of the ideas some, some of the the products that well yeah people are obsessed with crossfit crossfit's a cult crossfit's a blah 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 blah. so this is anyway your complete oh guy. are you saying even the, that, the, the that title best itself, gifts are people who are obsessed with crossfit, obsessed with crossfit they would have said are passionate or um, oh, like yeah or just do crossfit yeah you know what i mean yeah. so anyway um which is nothing wrong with that like i said they they put out information they're whatever they're trying to help people yeah find the right gifts um, your complete guide to gifts for your fitness, your complete guide to gifts for your fitness fiend of a friend. Oh, look at that. So, so yeah, alliterative. Very good. Fest- so yeah, festive. Amanda. So this was posted December 10th um, by Amanda Caprito and Russell Holly. Russell Holly, who apparently is a resident of Annapolis, um, chases every form of emerging tech with a personal passion in VR and AR and mobile gadgets based in Maryland. You can usually find him on his bike or in the water. Um, so background right there it know like Russell, he's crossfitter. let us know russell holly let and now let russell know that we're talking about him on the podcast yeah That'd so cool hey if you ever wants to come in and share some new tech or crossfit stuff so all right number one the hyper the hyper ice viper 2.0 vibrating foam roller 119 at amazon so that thing is we got that as a that was like is that what that thing was? we had yeah oh, I um it was, a free gift. it was i mean it was a i mean i it was didn't like know a prize. it was that expensive but yes it was the yeah. barbell for boobs yeah top fundraiser one year right yeah Did it was something it? it was like it was one of like the if you reach a certain goal you get this thing it was great um yeah i like that foam roller a lot it is great i don't know if i would spend 119 on dollars on a phone yeah. for someone so here's for here's our model folks yeah. we're gonna go through it we're gonna do all 10 items yeah. we're going to say um spot on nailed it holly and russell yeah. you guys crushed it yeah. or eh, it's kind of a cool thing but 119 bucks i could get two pairs of nanos for that right and you know what i mean so what would i i totally agree with you yeah it's, it's a cool piece of foam the foam roller is cool but i would get a regular 
$18 foam roller. And then probably if I still, and you can do a lot on that, I would get a off-brand $65, $70 Theragun. Yep. And now- and Right now you can find a lot of those for anywhere from like 60 to yeah. 90 bucks. So probably for uh, half of the one. So probably under, probably right around 60, 65 bucks, you can get two products mm-hmm. for the price of one. Um, for half the price of one. Right. And I still think as much as that is kind of a cool thing, things yeah. like that actually just leave me feeling itchy oh, really? on the place where I was using it hmm. versus that Theragun, I can really kind of control and like dig in and point therapy in. Yeah. I would say and this thing the, is really loud too. Yes. It's really loud. The ther- yeah. The Theragun is not as loud and no. you have different connection points. You can put yeah. the hook on there. You can put this. I like being able to pinpoint stuff a little bit more with a Theragun than I do. Put the thumb thumb on there. You can put the thumb. <laughs> Which um, so I'll take that. So yeah, like, this is this is awesome. But for less money, you can get that person two things: a regular foam roller yes. and a gun. Um, not necessarily this two hundred and fifty dollar Theragun oh. Live, one of the best tools for workout recovery. Yeah. Like so that's so we just like so we a, just went that though we just combined those two things yeah. that they made into a, two different items yep yeah no yep regular foam roller and the off-brand and that was actually christine uh, oh yeah from uh performance S- F- fx F- physical therapy fx physical therapy now open um, in annapolis made a really good point because she was doing it out here and one of the times that uh, her and Pete came and uh <laughs> she goes yeah don't don't buy they have the you know, 150 200 dollars ones yeah. she's like don't waste your money get get an off-brand one. They last just as long. They're just as good. They do the exact same thing. Yeah. And you're paying a third of what you would. I remember I got mine. I'll say a plug. I got mine. It's normally like 150 bucks. And I remember I got it like the week before Christmas for like 75 bucks at wadfitters.com. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's, I've had it for like two years now and it's, yeah, yeah it does its thing. All right. So there you go. That's a good cool. One. Next, a fit radio subscription to mix and match music genres for the best workout playlist. So I don't know much about Fit Radio. Um, it's $70.99 a month. Um, but for a coach, it's $19.99 a month. Thousands of mixes, genres, and playlists, audio guided workouts, workouts and programs for all fitness levels, cardio coaching. So here's the thing: like it sounds like basically you can get music uh, and workouts uh, and like delivered to you. You can do it for a gym. What's for 50 bucks? So this is for gym. So thousands of mixes, genres, and playlists curated and released daily, audio guided workouts. Workouts and programs for all fitness level, cardio coaching by top fitness instructors, no commercials, access to exclusive mixes curated for fitness classes. Um, yeah, so That's silly. so this is just like you get like curated mixes every day for your workouts. But what you're basically saying is, hey, CrossFitter, um, here's tell you what, here's your workouts given to you on this thing. And I these probably aren't CrossFit workouts. They made no. like boot campy or maybe yeah. like you know hit workouts. So. Um, just your regular old, like Apple music, Spotify, make your own playlist. Hey, if you can hear the music when you're working out, you're not working out hard enough. You're not working out hard enough. So, um, fail. So I see where you're at. So maybe this is for like, if someone has, is trying to work out at home and they just need a little, push, well, I think you're maybe you but, now, uh, I now have a better, uh, awareness and appreciation for your recognition of that. They're definitely not CrossFitters. If yeah. they're saying that somebody is obsessed with CrossFit that's not that's gonna, not CrossFit. No, <laughs> that's not, not well that's not, not a gift that you'd get somebody who's obsessed some, with crossfit yeah because the crossfitter is already using their own music of some yeah. sort or they go to a gym and they're so. getting their workouts from like yeah. if they're doing it at home they're getting their workouts from yeah. not an app that yeah. or not a music app okay all right the elite srs surge 3.0 self-adjusting speed rope for the jump rope enthusiast who still hasn't nailed double unders 46 dollars at amazon so this one um it's just one. A, it's a speed rope and the fact that it's adjustable, oh, I see. Um, it has the so it has a nice like ball bearing like spin. Oh, so I'm sure it spins, but you nicely. don't have to cut it. You don't have to cut it, which I think is a win. That's not a bad rope. People, no, I don't think it's bad at all. Forty six bucks seems a little steep at a I mean, price that's point. A, for but... the, I mean that you can get that. I mean the what the RX the one get that... RX ones are like anywhere from thirty to forty bucks. Yeah. Um, but you have to. But you get it's like the, these ones. You get the one specific to your height. You get the yeah. lengths. I think the um. The RPM ropes can be like 50 bucks, but you have to cut the cable. And the one we have that we did the go bags for mm-hmm. were like 33 or 34 mm-hmm. and they can only adjust so small. 
yeah. before you'd have to cut the cable. Yeah. Um, so, and they pinch. The, oh yeah. The where it goes in, uh -huh. it starts to crease. The boys notice that. Yes. Yeah, so I don't mind why, it. I have to say, if you get a rope, you need to make sure you have this thing that spins. Yeah. Or kind of the way the ones we have, it's just on that little loop. Yeah. That allows it to move freely. So that's a, that's a good. That's it's a nice not, jump rope. It's a nice jump rope. I there are others that I would suggest that cost this much or about this much. Yeah. Before I would suggest that. Yeah. Other than unless you really just don't know your height and you want to make sure you don't have to cut it. Yeah. Um, and if you don't have double unders, a heavier rope is going to treat you better than a lighter rope. Very true. Cool. It's so, like he knows what he's talking there about. There you go. So this one's legit here. Because he's obsessed with CrossFit. <laughs> there we go. Um, jerk fit waddies, full palm protection at jerk fit. So these are your, yeah, your waddies. I think uh, if you to the gym, have these. Eh, nope. So you would not, you would not go with jerk fit. Nope. What are your, uh, are bear compacts. Choice? You cannot go wrong with that. I mean, how much are they charging for those? These are 40 bucks. I think the bear compacts are the same. Bear complex. I mean, you can. Here's let's pull it up. Yeah, I keep saying compacts. Com yeah. Um, You're there for like 40 bucks at bear complex. The so same 40 bucks at rogue. Yeah. And you so can the get bear complex. Yeah, oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Why do you like um, why do you like bear leather? Better than waddies? Um, and they uh, last longer. The waddies. Uh, I think they start shred, right? I think the leather yeah, is. Yeah. And they bunch up. And so. The whole point is you want a surface that is not bunching up between your skin and the rig right. to create a smooth sliding surface for your hand. The second it bunches up, it creates little like yeah. hot spots or little mm -hmm. pressure points and you're going to get blisters right there so in like, their cloth and they're going to shred super fast. It's like, cause I have a pair of these and I, I can't tell you the last time I wore them because the I just didn't yeah, really throw those felt, I just felt like they didn't really make that much of a difference. Oh, yeah, we, we used to carry that in the store. That, that thing's a piece of crap. Yeah, I stopped carrying. I stopped carrying that. <laughs> there you go. All right, so they offer they say jerkfit waddies for the same price. We recommend Bear Complex. One hundred percent. Okay, and you go. don't have to put your thumb or your uh, hands through it, so you get a, a one that's like maybe a little bit the longer one, oh, and you yeah. can just drape it over the bar when you go, oh. which also helps you practice a false grip. False grip. There's so many other things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And I say all that. I have the like original classic row ones. Yeah. Because I'm a cheap. I'm a cheap SOB. Cheap SOB. So they still work. Why am I going to throw them away and right. buy a new set? But yeah. There we go. But they're leather. And I mean, shoot, I've washed them and like restretched them out. Don't okay. dry them. Don't, Don't dry them. Don't yeah. put them in the dryer. But I've washed them in the washing machine with my knee sleeves and they still work out fine. Wash your knee sleeves. And you should wash your knee sleeves. And I said, I are, knee sleeves, are knee sleeves on there? Knee sleeves are on here. I think oh, we're, right. we're okay. just going to be caught. So we kind of talking about Norma Tech compression boots. They're $799 at Norma Tech. That's so great hey, price. I'll Why not? You, like, I'll tell you what, if you really like, if you really want to get me those, if you really want to gift those to me, I am, I'm obsessed oh, with CrossFit. I will take some. Yeah. yeah. I'll gladly. Um, I'm not going to buy those for anybody. No. Uh, I'm not. So we talked about this a little bit beforehand. A set. Of, if you've changed out a bicycle tire, take that old tube, cut the Schrader valve out, mm -hmm. cut them in half. Bam, you got yourself a two two voodoo straps yep. uh, that will work just fine and accomplish probably 90% of what those Norman Tech boots are going to do. Now, I get the Norman Tech boots, they're full leg at the same time. You get a lot of that compression, which helps reduce the swelling and inflammation. Plus, they look legit. And they look legit. You can get the cooling ones. So you're like yeah. double dutying. Um, yeah. Nothing. I said duty. I got distracted by. There she is. Um, Sister Shelly, shout out. What? Did you get those anymore? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you and then duty, uh, and then you could buy for like another hundred and twenty bucks a compact tens machine or yeah. something. And so you. So I think between basically what we talked about earlier with the foam, yeah. regular foam roller, the cheaper gun. Um, but now you're also band, talking the voodoo band, voodoo band, and, yeah. and, and maybe a compact machine, a yeah. tens machine of some yeah. sort. Which there's Mark Pro compacts. There's a couple of different brands out there. Yeah. Um, they all. The idea being, you've got a mobility protocol, mm -hmm. which is working soft tissue, uh, joint mobility or positioning, and de-inflammation. Blood flow. That yeah. your blood flow would be the de-inflammation. De okay. Blood flow. Um, so increased blood I, flow across broad time and middle domain. <laughs> I will say, um, uh, Ellie, let me borrow it. Ellie Skeel, let me borrow oh, yeah. that red light therapy thing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's expensive. It's like 400 bucks. It's like, it's a, uh, bucks. is it um, infrared? It's infrared. Yeah. Yes. Red light and infrared. Yeah. 
I do recommend them. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember. I sent it to Joe because he was asking about it. I sent a link to the know. one. Um, yeah, it, your hair has been a mess. Why didn't you say anything? I didn't know. Somebody, you know like in front of the world, looking like a gosh darn idiot. <laughs> looking like alfalfa. You look cute, man. Oh, that, was, that was endearing. Um, My shirt takes the focus away from that. Recharge Health. It's this uh, stock running low. Last chance for December shipping. Leave me alone. Flex Beam. That's the, that. Is that the thing? That's it. And like you can put it over your shoulder. You can put it on a leg. Does it? Is it? Um, does it move like it wraps around? Or you just it wraps. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it bends like it, it bends. Um, but recharge dot health dot com. So you can like oh, strap it around your back like that, yeah. dude. I'm telling you, I used it for two days on my knees. Mm-hmm. I was good to go for like a week after that. Yeah, I would definitely. It's which knee? Left knee? Right knee? Both of them. High knee? Kidney? Um, yeah Tell so me. again all of that you could buy for the price of uh discounted norma tech boots there but again go. it's yeah. a it's a single piece of gear and i mean as far as a as a thing goes they norma tech delivers on what they yeah I mean, they're they're a quality piece of equipment you it's can also we mentioned too like if you want a mobile mobile performance therapy by stephanie you guys remember even, steph yeah or christine um, christine i think does she have those yeah so but yeah I don't know if she has, she, I think they might have those too, actually. Yeah. So between the two, whether you're going to see FX physical therapy, mobile performance therapy, um, yeah, you can set an appointment with them if you want to sit in some boots and they'll give you some other stuff too. There so you there you go. So that way you don't even have to get equipment. You just get a nice session where you don't have to think about it. You just get worked on. That's right. Boom. Coming up, the Nordic lifting sleeves to protect your knees from all the squats and lunges. Uh, $40 on Amazon. Oh, there you go. These are Nordic. Good to go. It's yeah. neoprene. Buy yeah. a brand that... It works for you. Um, they have whatever. Amazon, I think uh, rebands are the same. Rebands, yeah. Same price point ish, yeah. 35, 40 bucks. Um, and this is uh now is this for the set? So this is for one pair. I think reband you have to buy. No, they come as a pair. I got them as a pair. I'm gonna look it up while we're thinking. About I think it. I think it just depends on the link. Some of them come as a single, some come as a pair. Um this is so one sleeve reband 35.99 right but that's yeah. what i'm saying like sometimes yeah. sometimes they list them as single sometimes they list them as a pair either way knee sleeves i was um always anti knee sleeves for the longest time mm-hmm. and then i realized i'm an idiot and they do work they're not like a knee support it's not a brace no like it, it's even listed on here as like a brace it's not a brace it's not a it's brace not, it's not limiting movement it facilitates warming up the synovial fluid and the little joints in your knee it also reduces your need to compress into mm-hmm. range of motion which is actually good yeah um and so yeah they they provide a where they provide support is at end range of motion you don't have to compress the knee and if you have any sort of bursitis or yeah. you know uh, mcl or acl issues like they kind they're helpful together yeah. without limiting your movement so i think if you've been crossfitting for more than a year or two and you have not eventually gotten yourself into the knee sleeve world yeah. it's coming so yeah you could put that on your christmas list for your loved ones of if you're the obsessed crossfitter and they're looking to buy something a new yeah. set of knee sleeves and having an extra set you can never go wrong because yeah. when the ones get stinky and, you just know, make sure you wash them take them home don't leave them in your locker easy way to wash them throw them in your washing machine throw a little bit of um oxyclean the, the oxyclean on yeah the uh, you can put them in with the rest of your wash or you can just do them solo, low water, whatever. Louis told me this because he washes. I was like, how often do you wash these? And uh, he's like, I was like, I'm washing them like every day because they stink. And he's like, you need to put OxyClean on them. Yeah. And then don't dry them in the dryer because they're rubber and they're going to yeah. they their neoprene. Um, but yeah, now that I use OxyClean when I wash them and then I just wash them with the rest of my laundry um, once a week. Once every three go. or four so days. So OxyClean, that's the secret. Th- like it helps. Yeah, sell. it like it kept, it pushed, I don't know, like. <laughs> whatever, whatever it does. Whatever, it's magic. It's modern magic yeah. stuff. Whatever his name is, Billy, uh, yeah. Billy Blanks. What the heck's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever his name was. Yeah. He knew what he was talking about. All right, cool. Um, going back to some support, Rogue Fitness Wrist Wraps. So these are these yeah. stretchy. Yeah. They're... <sighs> no, I, I'm a big believer in them too. I've now... Um, I think I would um, getting pre-arthritis in both wrists that have been injured before okay. and they make a big difference. However, they do reduce range of motion. Mm-hmm. 
And so if you're relying on them because you just don't want to do the mobility work yeah. to continue to maintain and improve your range of motion, yeah. then you're using a crutch. So sorry. I think I, I'm with you. I think it's one of those things like, I don't think you may not, it's, I don't think it's one of those things you need. I think it's a like a person to person basis, like where you were like the wrist start to body, but I'll say like people wearing for presses, like warm up your presses without them. Yes. Don't put them on until you really feel like yes. it's getting to the point where like you can't move well, you can't focus on the movement. So I, it's just like a belt. It's just like switch grip, like <coughs> hang tight on using it until mix you and match, it. mix yeah. and match. They're yes. um, today's workout. I had them on initially and I didn't know why. And then like three quarters of the way into the, or a quarter of the way in the work. And I'm like, why the fuck? Because I was on yeah. the habit of, I always put them on. They're warm up. So yeah. And so I took them off and I was like, oh, that's much better yeah. because my hands were starting to go numb. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so if you're going for one heavy lift, yeah. tighten them, do your lift and take them off before like, your hand turns blue. But, oh, I know why. Because I did a, I did some accessory stuff. I had cleans. Um, oh, okay. I had uh, touch and go power cleans yeah. afterwards. And, uh, and I, so I, I, I think I, in my mind, I had them on yeah. just for that. And I was like, I'm an idiot. And so yeah, it made the last couple pull-ups a little bit better. There you go. Um, nice. But yes, wrist wraps, yeah. big fan of them there. And for those who have yeah. had major wrist pain in the past or yeah. injuries, and then we put wrist wraps on you, it is like, oh, yeah. I can get my front rack position. There like it's go. amazing. Yes. And 20, yeah, 24, 25 bucks, easy stocking yeah. stuffer, really. Um, not so much a stocking stuffer, unless you got big feet, the no bowl trainers. So they got no bowls. Oh, here. so funny that they go with no bowls. I will say though, Isabel, uh, has recently purchased new, two oh. new pairs of, uh, no bowls, the regulars and then the runners, uh -huh. man, that girl's got style. Yeah. <laughs> I saw her. I think I saw her trainers. Yeah. I haven't seen the, the purple, runners, the, yeah. the purple gum yeah, yeah. around and then they, she matches them with her purple pants. Yeah. And I'm just like. You look good. Like yes, those look she's good. Like that. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, I was like, as much as she wants to, like, she doesn't want to. She do is. She is that... thinking about her. She is thinking about yeah. her gym wear. Yeah. About as much as probably almost equally as much as she is her strategy I, I, for the wide. I think she. she I think she would be comfortable saying, "Yes, I am a crossfit." <laughs> yeah. I mean, because it's just she just looks good doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, the noble trainer. So yeah, if you want to spend 130 bucks on shoes. <laughs> Take out second mortgage. Because uh, yeah, they don't. Yeah, um, we should have told. Oh, this would have been a fun game if we had tallied up how much all of these things would have cost oh, if you bought all of them. I mean, we we're could. close to we like two thousand. We can do that at the end. Yeah. Um. But yeah, one hundred thirty bucks. Um. Noble. They don't do discounts. They don't yeah. go on sale. Yeah. Um. You they like your nanos. Nice. I like my nanos. I do, and I like the nobles that I got that I just wear as like kick around shoes. Yeah, yeah. Um. The, the standard uh, yeah. trainers. And they have gotten much more comfortable with use, yeah. but still, if I'm in them longer than about an hour, two hours, three hours, my arches hurt, my yeah. heels hurt, but they do look good. They look so good. <laughs> they look so good. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, shoes. There you go. So, Noble Traders, 130. You can also Nanos. Innovate. You're buying, yeah, don't buy full price nanos. Just wait for the sales. Yeah, wait for the sales. Codes. Wait them, for the you sales. You can always get them discounted. Yep. Thank you, Reebok. Um, you can also find Facebook groups, like find nano, like nano oh, and wrong side. find nano, and like Metcon buy share sale oh, groups because people oh, will, is. people will sell them their slightly used shoes for extra cheap because they just, I've done it before oh, too. Oh, you just did it. That's right. I you say, bought yeah, those. Uh, one, but yeah. 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 Get them nice and cheap. Someone will wear them and like, yeah, I don't like them. And then they'll just put them up because they want to get them out of their house. Um, uh, the mini phone tripod. For the one who loves to Instagram their workouts, let's go ahead and just scroll past that one. <laughs> so I so it, Box I'll and the dumbbell works well. So Sophia uses one for her workouts for the purpose of she's working with a coach who needs to see some of her movements, and so by doing that, he can see her movements, and then they use it as a video critique, not for clout. <sighs> and so it's a. Uh, so if you want that mobile phone tripod from a, when you're working on something, you want video, and then you want to like review but why the video. Why couldn't you just put it on a box and prop it up with a dumbbell? You totally could, but that's extra. Like, or I can just pull this little thing out of my, okay. but um, you're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Mobility Gear Multi-Pack. See, oh, this is from Ready State. Improved okay. flexibility foam. So yeah. this is all their goods here. Um, uh, so again, this is like, if you want to hit the, the mobility all in one, let's see what their, their full pack is. That peanut, this I will say that peanut is a game changer. The supernova? No, keep scrolling down. 
Oh, oh, the, the, um, the yeah, peanut. yeah. That thing is, and then the Gemini. What's up? Sorry. Connected still. Probably, Probably not. I mean, I I did disconnect everything, but it has since been a while. It reconnected when you turned it when you turned it back on. There we go. I'm off. Thank you. You're welcome. So I love on here too. They have the um they have the Gemini for thirty six fifty. And then they have two lagrosse balls and a roll of tape for ten ninety nine. So you got the basic and the premium because that's that's what it is. This pinpoints a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I love they're selling that now because it's kind of the same. Like because we used to do that, right? Like we yeah, tape we put, together. you could put it that way, or you could put it in a sock. Yeah, and then you don't have to tape them together, and you can yep. just like undo the sock and stuff. So there's ways around what they're doing. I will say though, Wait. that Gemini is a different level of you can get into places that the two lacrosse but the two lacrosse balls will give you the 85 90 percent solution right. this thing is like 140 yeah, percent. yeah it's awesome it hits yeah it hits yeah. the spots so it's, i and what's and then the here's price the, point and then here's it's the so 30 60 i mean it's kind of yeah and it's something if you put in your bag and that's just that day. one is uh, this is the um the mush, mush it's so just it's bucks. softer yeah so like it's not as intense right it's right. like tennis balls over the cross you got it you can do the same thing so there's like ways to to diy that yeah um but if you're buying it as a gift it's a cool i would say that goes into the category of you buy that for a crossfitting friend yeah you know that two voodoo straps a <laughs> a set of wrist straps so here's their thing. here's their kits oh yeah so like Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you can get like uh so you get their like their very texturized foam roller, yeah. silver cross balls, tape, uh looks like some voodoo floss and a band. I would do this one this for 100 and, well, that's 155 bucks. Yeah. I would probably build my own. You got the Gemini, the Supernova, the Voodoo Floss, the resistance bands, and the rumble, yeah. uh, rumble roller. Yeah, so but yeah, but anywhere from anywhere from 50 to 150 bucks you can get yourself that's a, a nice fun little... that's like a put that in a bag and you give that to a crosser like that's a fun gift that they probably somebody wouldn't buy for themselves yeah and it it delivers yeah uh it's low tech and really high output yeah and it lasts forever and it's k-star, and, it's k-star. and it probably i bet you if you buy that it probably comes with paraphernalia like directions or yeah other things you know what i mean like i just yeah. i bet you they soup it up too. And how many like channels how many videos do you have on youtube as to how to use them and oh how to, like yeah. we did 365 days on youtube for yeah. free so there you go so that one the price varies but it depends on how much you actually care about that person you're buying i think for. that's a good that's a good one yeah so that's definitely like a yeah um the hyper vest elite weighted vest to make crossfit workouts even harder 220 dollars oh at amazon God. So I will say um, 511, uh, it's got a good one. Rogue's vest is pretty good. Go Rucks vest, can't beat it. I really, and I don't know what the price point on it is, but I've worn theirs a couple times. Okay, so if you're, if you're wearing your vest uh, in close quarter combat and people are actually shooting at you, don't skimp. Go with uh, you know a tactically certified <laughs> plate, you know, you know five, uh, graded for five, five, six, seven, six, two millimeter rounds. Um, if we're talking about doing a workout loaded externally, go with something like Go Ruck, because what they've done is they've mimicked what a vest like a tactical vest should feel like, where it doesn't bounce around. It's all integrated inside, and the plates have a little bit of curvature and form better towards most people's torsos I'm trying to find their um I'm trying to find their vest they got all huh? kinds of stuff on here they got bags and stuff i haven't seen yeah yet. interesting did you go- this is this is right on their map this is right on their, their website. website let me just curious um but 511 the same thing 511 here's, here's like go rex vest 165 okay. so you're talking like that's mm, it's a little bit more expensive than yeah um here's another one for 95 okay so yeah, I think it depends on like the level that you get, but not uh, the other thing guys, about go, don't spend, thing don't, about spend go don't spend two hundred twenty dollars on no. it. No, the other thing about go, oh, so it was less. That's good yeah, too. Go so less. the other thing about GoRuck too is they're certified for life. So if you oh, wear yeah. it and something happens, um, you can just let them know, and they'll either fix it with their scars program or they will just send you a new one. There you go. And if you don't like it within a year and you send it back, you can get a full refund. There you go. How about that? Yeah, they're they're a pretty amazing company. The companies that do that, I really appreciate. Especially like it's something like there's no reason your vest should really like I fall apart. Still got the ones we used 
like unless you're under fire in which case it's like what were you running (laughs) (laughs) oh man all right um so the vest so yeah don't spend 220 on a vest go rough quality still a little pricey like you're still talking probably 150 bucks yeah but um, but something you'll buy buy once yes buy nice buy once um we already talked about that theragon don't buy a 250 dollar theragon please uh, so this is the Focus Gear Ultimate Gym Bag 2.0 oh. to hold all the CrossFit gear and keep sweaty clothes separate. Twenty eight dollars at Amazon. Whoa! So this one. that's a nice little bang there. Yeah, it comes in fun colors. Um, huh. Yeah, I a little side bags. compartment. That's not a bag. I'm such a like. Look at all this stuff. So you got spots for water bottles. You can fold your clothes and shoes bag. in. The way the bags open up. I'm These telling you, I still um, uh, hmm. Lindy. Uh, gave me the uh it was that one from barrels for booze uh-huh. that bag has been by far the best i was wondering when we were having certain bag. conversations like do you want a bag or are you like i don't well i do and i don't yeah, yeah, but yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> but that yeah yeah, yeah. that's a get... good that's a nice duffel yeah i mean and that's the bucks? thing that's the thing about bags like everybody's going to be a little bit different the one that Luis and kenna have and sam has that elite bag that's a good looking bag. Yeah. Those are really nice and they've lasted. I mean, the boat, all three of them have been hoofing those things around for like a year or two. I forget who got them for them. Yeah. They had them stenciled or yeah. um, embroidered or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I don't remember the price point on that. I think 50, 60, 70, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. But, um, every, but then like you go with an Oakley bag and it's great. And then the zipper breaks or you go with whatever bag. Oh, that bag's a piece of crap. You know what yeah. I mean? Like everybody's a little bit different in what they want. Yeah. I don't like duffels. I yeah. want to, I kind of want a backpack. I think, yeah. Um, I like mine to be almost like a, almost like a transition. Like you can use it as a duffel and a bag yeah. at the same time, depending on how you're carrying stuff. Yeah. Um, I also want it to be able to fit my computer mm-hmm. and my gym stuff if I need to. Like, so there's, there's like, I'm, I like, I like gym bags that are, functional outside of gym yeah the gym. And at this stage in my life i don't we don't need another bag in our house right like we have so many bags yeah and so i but that's a that's a solid 20 bucks buy so look at that you could take a 25 30 bag i'm sure it's going to be fine enough stash it with 80 dollars worth of mobility gear from the go. ready state boom you now have and throw a 10 dollar starbucks gift card on there right hundred dollar gift for the loved the loved one yeah. who crossfits in your life i always like i always like the gifts with like bonus gifts yeah right like now it's all of a sudden it's everything and you don't even have to waste any money wrapping right? it just be like here boom here see something here you here. go here's from scrooge at the end oh yeah That's yeah i say <laughs> here you need to here yes yeah um well, let's do this real quick so this is so Overall, uh, not a bad list. No. Um, we made a couple modifications on what, what we would recommend. Um, like, you know, like we said, the knee sleeves or the shoes or the vest. Like, yeah, these are good thoughts. Here are some better products of that Ooh, thought. Sorry. So here we are. <laughs> Just more coffee. Um, let's do some math real quick. Just curious to see what all this together costs. Let's have your calculator. Come on. Okay. Come on, real quick. All right. <laughs> that was my math. So, so Amanda Russell... Um, thank you for making this list. Thank you for putting this list out here. Um, if you ever want to come uh, do some CrossFit here at Fairwinds CrossFit, you are more than welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ready. That would be a lot of fun, Russell, especially you being in Annapolis. That would be great. All right. Um, the roller, 119. Okay. Uh, Fit Radio, let's say the personal, 799. A month? A month. How long? Do, I wonder how long you have to do this subscription. Let's say they did it for six months. So let's do six right? months. Sure. So 6, 8, 48. So 48. Um, 48. This jump rope, 46 bucks. Okay. Wadi's 40. Okay. The, the compression boots, 7.99. Uh, lifting sleeves, 40 bucks. Wrist straps, 24. Uh, the novels, 129. Okay. Mini phone, tripod, tripod 23. Um, weighted vest, 220. Thurgon 249. Okay. Bag 28. And then let's throw in um, let's see from the ready state their packs. Let's go uh let's go with a leopard kit at 90. Let's go leopard kit 9499. So 95. Okay. That's, How much we got? Uh 
1860 before tax, 1.06 sales tax, plus another, what, probably 50 bucks in shipping? No. God, I would hope. 10, $15 in shipping? $15 sure. in shipping? A oh. solid $1,989. $1,986.60. Yeah. So for this Christmas list, you could outfit somebody with an entire set of barbells, a barbell, a set of plates, probably a strength rack, and you could go on Rogue, and this is the, like this is the alpha yeah. like oh, yeah, uh, yeah. economy starter set. Yeah. What's like, what's like 180 pounds in weights? Probably. Oh, it's more than that. Is it more? Yeah. But anyway, so just to put it in, and it's, I mean, clearly it's the Normatec boots, but still, yeah. even without the Normatec boots, it's close to a thousand bucks. It's over a thousand bucks. Yeah. yeah. Normatec, I think it was what, 800 bucks? Yeah. So, so not, yeah. not a bad idea. I'm not sure who you're buying this for for Christmas or all of those gifts for Christmas, but hey, Megan, some are you people, listening? Megan, are you listening? <laughs> some people are better off than others. I mean, yeah. personally. And, oh, actually, and that's almost an entire, that's 10 months of, crossfit here at it's 10 months of crossfit, months CrossFit. So, <laughs> 10 months crossfit or you could buy them a bunch and we of have foam rollers, rollers we have foam rollers. you can borrow our wrist wraps you can yeah. borrow some uh yeah i'm not gonna i'm not lending you my knee sleeves you don't want my knee sleeves <laughs> it's like borrowing somebody's wetsuit after they dove in cold water <laughs> why does it smell like acorns and sausage in here <laughs> is it um uh, is it uh, pork sage sausage? Oh, it's the, in the uh, freezer. Ours the is in the guy. freezer. I was so excited. We go to the, we get that guy. Uh, We're doing Christmas morning breakfast. <sighs> Christmas morning breakfast. So anyway, so yeah, cool. That was a good one. That was, that was fun. fun. That was fun. Yeah. Good. Again, Amanda, Russell, thank you for the list. Um, we checked it twice. And uh, some of these prices are naughty, but the equipment is nice. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, so there you go. Last minute. So again, if you're not buying for someone now, maybe you're buying for yourself when some of the stuff goes on sale or deals and stuff after the holidays, oh. or you got yourself a little extra, you know, five bucks from grandma in your Christmas card. So there you go. Awesome. That was fun. Well done, dude. Hey, hey, Jack, can hey. I ask you a question? Sure. No, I don't have a question. Oh. Uh, did you hear, did you hear that a, one of Mariah Carey's um, like mega fans bought her, bought her a parcel of land oh. as a Christmas gift? Wow. Yeah, did you hear what her response was? No. I don't want a lot for Christmas. Oh, Sorry, two, yeah. I don't want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> He's bought our parcel in. Sorry, I thought I queued Ooh. up a little bit closer to the setup. But yeah, parcel of land. I mean, that was a good set. That was a good cue. That was a lot of work, man. <laughs> You have an edge of coffee. I saw you on here. I should have let off with that if I would have been better. I only, yeah, I'm only, I'm down to one cup or one, go. one, one espresso pump yeah. a day. I can't. Also, this thing. Sorry, I haven't told you about this thing. He's pointing so at the Lavaza. Do you know about this thing? I mean, I do. We, so we, we talk, do you want to talk about that? I mean, it means grounds after rounds. Well, I mean, so okay. it's, so you get you got to get coffee pods for it, but it's coffee, espresso, um, but it also has a milk frother. Ah. So that's the game changer. So my question is like. If we do a milk frother, what are the rules and expectations of the milk frother? Um, not not so it's like for us, like we my know, but, my, uh, my my expectation is that thing will last about a week and then it'll either be broken so dirty that it'd be just a gigantic moldy gross piece of shit. I'll say like if or, you use a milk frother, yeah. you are responsible for cleaning it. Yeah. So yeah. so it might be just back here. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> well, it was free. <laughs> so and Meg's like, one of my was like, we already have an espresso and a milk frother at home. We don't need another. Yeah. One. So, no, no. I think so, um but I like yeah, it. until until we have the um Santa's elves off seasoning here. Uh I'm pretty sure that that thing would just be a gigantic, gross, festering thing. So I'm just basing that off of 17 and 15 year old boys. Yeah, I don't think they'll use it. <laughs> but I mean, so I mean, I, mean, I, I think I watch. Um, so at the Honda shop, the the same thing. Like they have something very similar to that mm -hmm. uh, in the waiting. You know what I'm talking about? In the, oh yeah, yeah. The, in yeah. The, the waiting room. And uh, I was like, this is great. The woman that's at the desk. I said, like, this is great. She goes, yeah, for you all. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. like, oh, oh, someone yeah. has to clean this every day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so. Um, 
but it's a cool yeah, it yeah. looks cool yeah i was like i didn't want to say no to it because i'm like this yeah. looks pretty sweet so i was like if I'm, if I'm the only one that uses it, i'm okay with it there you go um so yeah cool awesome great episode my gratitude uh so kind of long lines yours just fam just loving the fam um yeah family can be like tough during the holidays but uh you know glad they're here they want to see you and stuff and spend time together can i just say this too and i I tell myself this like if you have family with kids especially like little kids like like just recognize the work that it takes to get from one place to the other place to the other place and like so this is my like because i get it like if you if it's if it's been a while since you've had kids or you don't have kids. Or your kids can drive um, their own car. Or your kids can to drive the place their own where cars. You want them to meet you. Right. Yeah. So like when you have a four-year-old and like and a one-year-old. <laughs> um, so like that's a big like ship to coming turn. over at five o'clock is not ideal. Oh. Um, because now you're like pushing up on bedtime, and I don't care that it's Christmas, like it's fun for you. Yeah, tomorrow that morning, snowballs, but yeah, right? Yeah. And then um, and just also like, yeah, we're not driving, we're not driving. That's that's one of the things too, like with family, like close enough by but far enough away, like that turns into like hours in the car. Yeah. And so please don't take it personal when we say no. Like we can do this this day, and we can do this this day. So, but I love family. They all want to get together. That's um, in the end. Like, that's I, the thing. Yeah. That's a good reminder. Like it's uh, they just want to be together, yeah. and I get it, and I love it, and um, Merry Mother Funkin Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so yeah all right folks well enjoy your holidays wherever you are who you're with what you're doing um we will uh we'll see you after well yeah if you're listening to this you're not at the gym no um so merry christmas enjoy see you monday see you monday for pre-new year's sweat festing and then yeah new year's eve and then we're back at it and we're within six weeks of the open at that point yeah Bam! Bam! Booyah! All right, y'all. Awesome. We'll see you on the creek. That was creepy. On the creek. Thank you, everyone. Mm-hmm.